Hello guys, today I wanted to show you something quickly that you'll find really useful if you do any kind of gaming on Linux. I'm going to show you how to back up your saved games. Now, there's a number of reasons that you might want to do this. What brought this up for me is I recently purchased this game called Noita, which is a pretty damn difficult game from my experience so far. You only get one life in the game, there's very little opportunities to heal your character, and just about everything in the game can kill you. So, needless to say, I got tired of having to completely restart the game every time I lost, so I decided to just back up my save files so that if I died in some bullshit way, I could just reload that save file and continue from there. Now, Noita is a game that requires Proton to work on Linux. And Proton is basically just a compatibility layer for Linux that allows a lot of Windows games to work on it correctly. And because Noita uses Proton, the save game files are located in a different directory than where they normally would be. So first I'm gonna show you the typical save game locations for games that just work natively on Linux and then I'll show you the Proton location for games like Noida. So where you want to go to find a lot of your Steam games where they would be saved is in Home and then your username, which in my case is Kenny, but for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just use the user variable so that newbies don't get confused. You can type that same variable on your computer and it'll take you to the correct spot. And it's in config. Now, generally you'll see where the save game files are in here. Usually it'll either have a folder with the actual name of the game or it'll be inside of a folder called Steam. Uh, now I don't have it in here because I don't have any games that save to this default folder. The only game I have is Noita right now because I just had to reinstall my system. But this is where a lot of the native Linux games would be. Um, another place where they could be is in home user local and share. This seems to be one of the most common places where the games will be. So check in here to see if you have a folder called Steam. Of course you see I don't have that folder so my saves aren't going to be in here. But if there is a folder called Steam in here then chances are your saves will be there. It probably won't be right inside of the Steam folder. For some games, you'll still have to drill down into a couple more folders to get the actual save file. But within that Steam directory is where you'll want to look. So now on to the Proton games. They have a save file that's very different and it can be a little bit confusing until you understand what Proton does. Now, like I said earlier, Proton is a compatibility layer, and as a result, it tries to emulate certain aspects of Windows on your Linux PC. And one of those aspects is the app data folder, where games are typically kept on a Windows PC. But of course, Windows and Linux have very different directory structures, so the path isn't exactly the same. If you look in your users folder or your home folder, you're not gonna have app data there. So to find our game, we want to first go to our users folder. Um, let me do it this way since I'm in share. And then inside of here, you want to do LSA so that you can see all of your hidden folders. And you'll see this hidden folder called Steam. So go ahead and CD into that. And then inside of Steam, there will be another Steam folder, but this time not hidden. CD into that. And then you want to go into Steam Apps, CD into that. 
compat data cd into that. And then when you do another ls, if you have multiple games installed that require Proton, you're gonna see a bunch of different numbers here. Now, what these numbers actually are is they're the actual app ID for the Steam game that you're trying to find. Now, obviously for us humans, we don't remember uh, app IDs for Steam or most people probably don't. So you could just copy that and then paste it into steamdb.info and it'll tell you what the game is. So of course, Noida, like I said, is the only game that I have on my system right now. So go ahead and CD into Noida's folder or whatever game that you're trying to find the save file for. And then you'll find this folder called PFX inside of it. Go into there. And then you see this folder called Drive C. And this is where the Windows emulation for the app data directory basically begins because of course C drive is only really a thing on uh, Windows. It's not really a thing on Linux. So go into that Drive C. And then you start seeing all of these folders, which are basically Windows folders. Go into Users, and then you want to go into Steam User. And now you see this really looks like a Windows file structure. Go into your App Data folder. Um, let's see, why did that not work? A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A -A. there we go. And then local low, which I think is just the name of the company that made Noita. So you'll have something similar to this where it's the name of the company that made your game. Go into there. And then... Oh, okay, so there's the, the NOLA games. That's the actual company that made it. And then here we go. We are inside of where the saves are. Now, if you're following this guide specifically for Noida, the save file that you're gonna want, or rather the save folder that you're gonna want is save 00. Let me just clear this so the screen's a little bit neater. Um, I believe all you really need to copy from here is this, basically all of these files that end with uh, selectly or whatever that word is. Um, but what I have just ended up doing, as you can see, is I've just been copying the entire folder. So you can do that as well. Um, it saves you from having to enter in more commands and it's it's just been easier in my experience so this is where your save games are for the proton games as usual leave a like on this video and share it with someone who you think would find it useful peace out guys